Welcome to FIRE's educational video series. The objective of this video is to talk about the various price tools that one can use to analyze the trend as well as to make trading decisions. In the last couple of videos, we spoke extensively on a critical concept called trend. We talked about what a trend is, the three different types of trend, the three different degrees of a trend, and the various ways in which a trend can change its direction. Now that we understand the various aspects of a trend, it is time to talk about the various tools that can be used to analyze a trend. Charting platforms provide several price tools that one could use to analyze the various aspects of a trend. For instance, these tools can be used to validate trend confirmation, identify trend reversal, identify support and resistance, generate trading signals, etc. There are dozens of tools out there that chartists use to analyze trends. In this brief video, we shall introduce the most important and the most widely used price tools. Before starting, keep in mind that in this video, we shall just name the price tools before talking extensively about them in each of the next several videos. Over the next few videos, some of the key drawing tools that we would be talking about include Trend lines. Trend lines are straight lines that connect one support with another support or one resistance with another resistance. Arguably, trend lines are the oldest, the most used, and the most effective way of identifying various aspects of a trend. On a personal level, trend line is my favorite drawing tool for its simplicity and effectiveness. Channels. Channels comprise of two lines, one connecting supports and the other parallel line connecting resistances. The line that connects supports is called the lower channel line, while the line that connects resistances is called the upper channel line. Channels help immensely in identifying the momentum or the velocity of a trend. Fibonacci Retracement Fibonacci retracement is used to identify retracement levels following a price advance or a price decline. One thing that you would have realized by now is that uptrends or downtrends do not unfold in straight lines. Instead, they are composed of secondary moves as well, which go against the direction of the prevailing trend. These moves are nothing but retracements to the prevailing trend. Fibonacci retracement is a tool that is used by traders to calculate the potential extent of such counter moves. In an uptrend, Fibonacci retracement is used to identify potential supports, while in a downtrend, it is used to identify potential resistances. These are then used to identify entry points for trades. Fibonacci retracements are very commonly used by chartists. Fibonacci extension Fibonacci extension is used to project price extension from key retracement levels. Loosely speaking, while Fibonacci retracements are used to identify entry points, Fibonacci extensions are used to identify take profit or target levels. Just like Fibonacci retracement, Fibonacci extension is quite a popular tool amongst traders. Andrew's Pitchfork Andrew's Pitchfork is used to identify potential areas that could act as supports and resistances. Unlike each of the other price tools that we have mentioned so far, Andrew's Pitchfork is not something that is as widely used by traders. That said, when used correctly, it can add value to your analysis. In the coming videos, 
we will talk extensively about each of these price tools. Before concluding, let me talk about some key points that you need to keep in mind when using price tools. Price is the most important piece of information that is available on a chart. Everything else is secondary. Hence, your first and foremost focus should be on the price itself. Do not over rely on price tools when analyzing the trend of a security. As said earlier, the foremost focus should be on the price itself. Signals generated from price tools must be used only when confirmed by action of the price itself. One needs to be very flexible when using price tools. What I mean by this is, don't strictly focus on the exact level signaled by the price tool, but rather focus on the region around that level. After all, technical analysis is more an art than a science. Well, that was all that we wanted to talk about in this video. If you liked our video, do not forget to click on the like button below. Also, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the bell icon to receive regular updates from our site. Last but not the least, we have a dedicated space for school stocks related discussions on FIRES community. We encourage you to interact with us on our School of Stocks community page by visiting the link shared below. Thank you for watching this video.